my video to the computer. Most camcorders, if you look around them, they'll have some sort of jack. So you see I have a USB jack and a firewire port there and I have a power a power necessity too. I have to plug it in it looks like because my battery will not fit on the back here um, and I can't plug in at the same time. Anyway I'm looking for these ports and then sometimes your computer can transfer a video with a USB cable, the black one but most times you need one of these firewalls for the older computers. Newer computers, USB is fine. Old computers, firewire. And sometimes there's two ends like this end, oh, like the end in the center, the small one on the silver cable. Sometimes it's double-ended <clears throat> like this. Other times there's a big port on one side. So I have to plug in to my camera and plug in to the computer down there. It's in the back somewhere. So here I've hooked up the USB port, not sorry, the fire wire and a power cable I haven't put on yet and I can either send it to play or record. And then this big port is the port for this fire wire, this large fire wire cable. Okay, so my USB port's plugged into the back of my computer, goes all the way down, and I'm just going to press on. Oh, and look, my computer says, found new hardware. So, instantly it senses it, this is for the first time, and look, I can record in Windows Movie Maker or Premiere Pro, two softwares I have for video editing. Most of us won't have Premiere Pro, so let's just capture on Movie Maker. I'm going to click Capture Video. Okay, as soon as I click Capture Video, it asks me to name the file and to choose where it's going to go. And I've got three settings, best quality for the computer, or really high quality for mini DV, or some other settings. I'm going to go digital device for DVI, AVI, which is high quality. Doesn't it doesn't transcode it or change it? It says capture the entire tape automatically or capture parts of the tape manually. Capture parts of the tape manually. Show you preview during capture. Oh, where'd it go? What happened there? File capture video next. Next, capture part from tape manually. Okay, I get this little window here. It's got rewind. Let's try that. Oh, and it takes over my little camcorder. It begins to make a sound. And I can press play again. And it shows me some of my footage, whatever that is. Oh, giant centipede. So here I can. I can press start capture and I can start to capture my stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to capture the whole lot. So I just click start capture and it tells me the tape position and shows me what I'm actually capturing in real time. There's no faster way to do it with uh, digital video. Oh, that's a giant sand bead. But that's the fastest way to go. Now, so as it's recording with a Windows Movie Maker, but you can record with any video editing software. There's loads of them. So after I finish recording my clip, it just goes up into my project right here. And then I can save it in Windows and then upload it to YouTube. So that's how I import video and connect to the computer.